What's up guys? Welcome to Liars Music Channel where we discuss music production and songwriting. If you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down below. All right guys, so this is video number six of my series of how I produced my song, Girl That Was Perfect. Um, this video, it is the end of my session number two for the song. So, you know, as you can tell, the track is like mostly done. So I'm just doing a lot of fiddly stuff, looking for things to improve. Like, oh, this bass part, I think I'm going to add, you know, a couple of eighths notes here, take away this beat right here. So just a lot of tweaking, which I do think is important to show because I think there's the difference between a great track, at least in my opinion, and a good track is all in the details. So usually like the final hours of me producing a song is me really zeroing in on the details and just trying to make everything as good as I think it can be. So this is what this video is. If you have any questions, if I'm going way too fast at any moment, just ask down below and I'll explain what I'm doing. And yeah, let's just get straight to it. Yeah, I'm gonna do like a little choo 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 book it. To remind you guys uh, at this point in the production process i basically just had guitar and vocal and a snap in the first verse really nothing else so and i wanted it to be really sparse but here i'm trying to add a little bit of percussion to it just subtle stuff but just things that can be a little bit of like a sonic candy you know just to spice things up so it's not just guitar and vocals Here's So good. <laughs> I do like that. Let me hear it with the vocal though. Skinny jeans, didn't eat her dinner just so she could fit a dream. Drinking in compliments, but they made her hungrier with every binge. Her mirror was a word. You do like a triangle, like every fourth or every eighth. Beauty queen, skinny jeans, didn't eat her dinner just so she could fit a dream. Drinking in compliments, but they made her hungrier with every binge. Her mirror was a warden. Thinking behind bars, light hair and a light card until I knew it wasn't. Until I broke her free, game thousand. Yeah, this is a thing that I think about a lot, actually, um, as I get older as a producer. Um, like this triangle thing to me that makes such a big bit of difference in this track. It just brightens it up. Uh, it kind of nods to 90s R&B, which is the big inspiration for this. Um, I feel like there's a lot you can do with very little. And I feel like the capabilities right now are very vast with production. You know, there's CPUs are higher, you know, processing speeds are higher. There's this temptation to, to just overload tracks with stuff. And sometimes that is the right route for a particular track. But a lot of the times I almost like to challenge myself to see like, what I can get done with as little as possible, and sometimes it surprises me just how much I like it. Beauty queen, skinny jeans, didn't eat her dinner just so she could fit it. Beauty queen. So to catch you guys up right here, I grabbed one of the loops I made for another song, a uh, percussion loop, and I'm just grabbing random uh, bits of that loop to make this kind of variating, is that a word? <laughs> this snare that is in the exact same copy, every bar that changes a little bit because those hits when I created them, um, there's different bits of percussion layered there. Um, and I will do this a lot, especially in the verse where things are sparse and you can really hear the subtle changes. And I would make her a little bit like more just take the top off, off of her. That sounds bad. Take the top off of her. But like, you know what I mean? Definitely. Yeah, that's cool. All right, let me just get rid of like some of these uglier slaps. Yeah, I think the slapper here is Beauty queen, skinny jeans, didn't eat her dinner just so she could fit a dream. 
drinking in compliment skinny jean skinny bum or is it bum yeah, this is something I definitely had to learn with this particular guitar part, like having like the slap, my actual hand slapping on the guitar. Um, it can definitely mess with the snare, the, the snap that comes in at that exact same moment. So yeah, you can see me here just trying to kind of tame it because I did, I did like a little bit of that that slapping sound because it is natural but see i'm like moving one from one that's a little bit smaller it's a little bit tamer uh a little bit more uniform to all the bars and i see this a lot with acoustic guitar i just had the same issue on another track where if you play it progressively sometimes it makes noises that interact weirdly with the drum so if you have an acoustic part just kind of check you can see the transients that's re that really stand out those are usually the culprits skinny jeans didn't eat her dinner just so she could fit a dream Generally, uh, I found this out pretty recently, but editing guitar in Ableton is actually a lot easier than I thought. You can just pick a part that you played, pull it up uh, in the uh, detail editor, select it, and then quantize the whole thing. You know, even audio, it's great. I, I wanna know what I'm gonna do in the intro. I think it'll be like, better and I like it better. Like that might be like better to start with that or something, you know what I mean? It's too much. Yeah. Or what are, what are their motifs? Okay, yeah, I think that's what it should start with. But like, I should sing it like all the like, I'm better, I'm better, like super like mumbly, so you don't understand what it is. I'm better. Oh, how about this? I. fucking well but like let me just see the idea that's fucking funny uh, but yeah what happens if you go up All right, so to explain what's going on, I'm basically trying to put a hook into the intro of the song, just something, a motif, like I said, from the song. Uh, so when they hear it in the context of the song, they, um, you know, they anticipate it in a subliminal way. It's like a cool trick. I've used it a lot, many times before, but what I'm specifically doing here is just trying to sing, um, just to create a part that doesn't quite sound like it's just been copied from the chorus. That's why I'm singing it like in a mumbly way. I'm singing it an octave down and then pitching it up just to create like a different kind of weird sound. Beauty queen, skinny jean. I don't know if I love that. Like if I make it like super mumbly, like okay, yeah, I'd buy that. Better, better, better than the girl that was perfect. Better than the girl that was perfect. Oh, that's so hard. That is a low for me, honey. Dirty. 
generally I think this is a fun trick singing things in different registers even if you can sing it in the normal register picking that lower or that higher and pitching it up or down because it will change the tone of your voice even if you use like the pro algorithm on Ableton or something like that it's still you know it's not going to sound just like you singing and sometimes that's a great trick and like a cool effect Beauty queen. Okay. Get it up. So after this, I basically just scoped through the track. Like I'm not kidding. When I was editing this video, it was just like minutes of me just sitting there listening to the song, just like listening to this part a few times, listening to this part a few times. I'm basically just looking for stuff to improve at this point. I do like, like the general idea, the vibe. So I'm just nitpicking. I I kind of want like a normal snare. It's very wide and I don't hear like a crack in the middle. So... Yeah. It's a good one too, kind of in the middle. It's too much for this, I think. Let's go with the old favorite. Brown hair, yeah, I like her. Better than the girl that was perfect. Should the kick do that, 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 uh? But a comp, bum, 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 uh? Is that too much? Like, are we gonna hate ourselves or? Fuck, I don't really, I don't really hate it. Bum, bum. You hear that? Let me do those strings to tighten them up a little bit. They are delayed. They're late. <laughs> They're not doing a good job. Let's see, maybe just... Yeah, at this point in the game, I'm often listening to like my audio, making sure everything is on perfect time or if it's delayed or something that it's done on purpose, that it isn't an accident. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like, I don't know if I like it on the offbeat, like boom, boom, ka. What's happening? Should it just be like tran 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 right there on the kick? Make it a little bit like cleaner. Ah. Mm. I like that. Oh, 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 and I'll kind of do like a little bit of a volume thing on here. Especially right here in the triplet. Yeah. I think that's better. Okay, so these are very sloshy, and I'm a little bit like, see, yeah, the they don't look sloshy, but oh, it's this one, right? It's pretty sloshy. Like, why does this sound like it's like not on beat? Let me take a look at the guitar. Actually, let me meet the guitar real quick. See if, because it needs to be tight. Oh, I want this to be really tight. Okay, the guitar is like off rhythm. Okay, we will fix. Yeah, that's like not on beat. Yeah, me doing this by hand, like, I kind of hate myself watching this right now because I do know that you can just, like, consolidate this, uh, straight up just pull it up and quantize it, uh, and it will be pretty close. Like, in Ableton, you just have to have it on, like, complex or pro mode or something like that because it can get a little bit funky, but, yeah, it will detect the transients, all of them, most of the time, 
put it where it's supposed to go. Um, which, you know, with a guitar or a piano or uh, something like that, sometimes you don't want it to be super on beat because you're trying to preserve a little bit of humanity. But for especially for something like this where I wanted like a little bit of that cut up feel, it's it's perfect. I really <laughs> recommend the quantized. I like me better. I like me better. Better than the girl that was perfect. Took all the pieces of me I didn't mean to. The resonance, I think she needs to like. Here a little, a little, yeah. Took all the pieces of me I didn't mean Better than the girl that was perfect. Took all the Yeah, you guys have seen me do this in other videos, but uh, I love Melodyne, how I can just be like, oh, I need to change the score, and I just drag down the bass note, and boom, there she is. to like, hey, pretty string. I want to be like a little bit more disgusting, I think. Like it's still doing the thing and I'm gonna just, yeah. Wait, is it? Crazy it still sounds so on pitch when you hear in the track. Yeah, generally I really love detuning just because it can make things sound more vintage. It can make things sound more interesting. If everything is perfectly on pitch, it's almost like, oh, this is like robotic in a way. Yeah, maybe even the look at this. Also, this program I was just using, it's called Wow Control 3. It's really, really fantastic for like wow, wobble, adding noise, just making th things sound a little bit more vintage. Maybe like some of that stomp situation because like it was pretty like good for adding some energy. So perhaps we do this. So what you see me do here, I think I mentioned in one of the previous videos, I really like layering stomps, like actual acoustic stomps, like stomping people with kicks because uh, it just creates, I mean, right now you can see me like pulling up the top end of the, uh, the stomp, it just creates more emphasis on that kick really, because if you just have a pure kick, most of the time you just hear that boom and you don't get a lot of mids, you don't get a lot of top end. So yeah, I love the stomp thing. Um, and what I'm doing now also didn't really explain that as I was doing it. I think I just kind of got into more producing less like 
making a video, but, <laughs> but I have like a hay right there, which I am reversing and cutting to create a cool effect. I wonder if I can like distort this. Like I just want it to be like, so, I want to be aggressive. I want the charge to be more aggressive and my voice is like, la la la, like it's pretty. That's cool. Yeah, what I did here, I think actually was a big part of the track is the piano was really hidden and then it ended up being like a featured instrument. So yeah, this was definitely a step in the right direction. I wonder if I can do like super sub underneath there. Let me just try it. Let me just give super sub a whirl. Cause it's really, it's like a high bass. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. No, no drive, no fizz. That's cool. Why is it kind of necessary? That's super sad. So this is not something that I do often, uh, but it is a cool trick. So what I did basically, because the key of the song made the 808 sit kind of high, I made an octave down version without the distortion. I call it a super sub. You know, it's very like, it is very, very low, like 50 hertz, 60 hertz is where it's really resonating. And I really just tucked that in under the main bass just to give it the power it was missing because it was a little bit of a higher bass. Yeah, and what I'm doing now is I'm just like, going through, you know, looking for little details to fix. Like I made the shaker a little bit, um, like more vintage, took some of the highs out. So um, yeah, at this point of the game, I'm just like tweaking. Even harder. Like that's what it kind of needs to do. Maybe like a siren sounding thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, a lot of the times with like siren sounds, I just find samples on splice. Here, I think I wanted to specifically base it on the root of the song, which is why I played like that stirring and then just started adding automation, like pitch automation to it. Uh, yeah, you know, it's not always the most reliable way. I would honestly usually go with a sample, but it is fun to kind of play around with this and see what you can achieve. really really weird so like I just want to make that sound not stupid as hell let's <laughs> go cool. I would just say creating effects. A lot of that is just knowing your arsenal of your plugins. Like what verbs do you have? 
uh, what do have that adds rhythm, that adds distortion, that adds detuning. You know, there's just a few things that you can do, but there's a million plugins that do it. So uh, yeah, it's just about knowing what you have, using what you have uh, and using it well. Sometimes it's just the built-in plugins for Ableton or Logic or whatever you're on. Uh, you know, <laughs> you don't need to have something expensive to create a great effect. Yeah, it's funny how like I tried that uh, with that siren I made with the string. Now I'm doing it with my vocal. And the funny thing, I think you have to go go through these iterations, and you can't get frustrated. I mean, you can, but like <laughs> you know, peace of mind is important. Uh, I try not to because usually those things do lead to the correct idea. So if you can find a common denominator between the siren thing I was doing before and this piano is that it is a high pitched thing. Um, so I think the initial instinct was right to go up there, uh, but I think I realized that kind of washy thing was actually washing it out, just really kind of bogging down the section, but this ended up being the thing that I kept. Oh, that's cool. I like me better. I like me better. All right, guys, so that was it. That was the end of day two of me producing this song. Um, I did have another day on this where I cut the actual vocals. All the vocals you've heard in all these videos are just like my scratch demo vocals. I did replace them. I did not film that session because I didn't want to have a camera in my face when I'm cutting like my actual vocals. Um, I did film myself like editing vocals at the end, like adding verbs, like do, doing more like creative editing. Uh, so no promises i might show that part i might not <laughs> depending on how busy i am so but in case i don't then this is the end of the series thank you guys so much for watching it if you have any questions ask them down below and yeah i'll see you on the next one